We are just rambling around Bend, Oregon. We are along the Deschutes River. And this is where people surf, kayak, paddleboard, go tubing. There's a lot that goes on along this river here in Bend. We were planning on tubing, and I don't know, we got kind of a late start. We really want to, it's supposed to be 85, the high. We'll see what happens. Right now I'm gonna go on top of a bridge and show you where they are surfing, kayaking, and tubing. What a beautiful area, and it's just fun watching. So it's like I wanna get in a float, but it's so much fun watching everybody that I'm just mesmerized right now. So, and then I'm also gonna show you the mill district. On the other side, you look for the three stacks and the amphitheater and the mill district, old mill district is over here. So what did you think of that? That's real cool. I wish I had core. I need, <laughs> I need core for kayaking, surfing, everything. You know, I could do the inner tubing. Inner tubing, you don't need core. A little chilly out, a little brisk. You know, the wind and uh, you get in the water, it's already cold and then you get out and it's gonna be even colder. We might wait a couple hours. Well, it's 85 today, but um, so basically everything you can imagine is going on in that river. We're in Bend, Oregon. This is our second part of Bend, Oregon. We want to start strong and show you some of the main things you do during the summer down here. And yeah, you can just, you see surfing and kayaking all within about uh, 100 yards of each other. Paddle boarding, just floating, cool. all kinds of stuff. So it's for everybody. And I saw children, I saw people with their pets going down the river. I don't know if I'd recommend that, but yeah. it was cute. Well, they and had, some of the pets had life jackets on. Oh yeah, so, it was yeah, adorable. Okay. So, you know, everything's represented here in Bend. Bend is just really a great Pacific Northwest uh, town that has really grown. So besides the breweries, which is number three in the United States for breweries. Yeah, per capita. Per, besides that, there is just lots of activity, lots going on. All right, let's get rambling on. The Bend Whitewater Park and McKay Park are just two of many more city parks located along the river. River Bend Park, just a little upriver from the Bend Whitewater Park, is a great starting point for kayaking, tubing, and paddleboarding. Following the Deschutes River downstream past the Whitewater Park is Drake Park. This park is on the inside of the river bend along with the downtown area. This part of the river is where Bend gets its name as its prominent feature is this unique bend. Very dog friendly, Drake Park has ample green space for frisbee and other lawn games as well as picnic areas, walking paths, and playgrounds. This area is also another great place to enjoy the river for kayaking, paddleboarding, and tubing. Continuing downriver is Pioneer Park. While not situated directly on the river, it does have playgrounds, walking paths, and open fields. A section of the Deschutes River Trail between Pioneer Park and Sawyer Park allows for hiking, biking, and running. It has spectacular views of the mountains and of the wildlife. 
These beautiful parks are just a small sampling of what Bend has to offer. I'll put links in the description below for park locations and recreational rentals in the downtown Bend area. Beers are great at Worthy. The um, service is great. The place is beautiful to yeah, be so in. Yeah, so there's a connection to uh, Ken Kesey, uh, the author of One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. The tables inside and the bar inside was repurposed wood from the uh, the movie, from the, the, the nut house from the insane asylum that was filmed in Oregon and Salem at the state mental institution. Each section that they repurposed is a little medallion, little metal medallion that has a hybrid of a cuckoo Jack Nicholson look. Oh. So. <laughs> so we are out here at the camp tonight, the camp in our campground. Yeah, it's nice because they have a facility right here. They have a uh, grill that we can use. We can use their grill. Oh, you're wearing your birthday shirt. So I wanted to point that out today because somebody had a birthday a couple days I ago. I you would get that excited when I wear my birthday suit. <laughs> <laughs> but I got him another Rainier beer shirt. It's a little different. It looks like it's a sidecar. Yeah, it's a sidecar one. Maybe that's, maybe that's what we'll get here in the in the near future is get a, one of those motorcycles and get a little sidecar. And I can sit in the sidecar and drink beer as you drive me around in a motorcycle. Okay. You operate the motorcycle. I'll sit in the sidecar and drink beer. Sounds good to me. Yeah. I like that. I like uh, being in charge, so it's fine. Yeah. I, you know, I'm gonna be the passenger every once in a while. Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> I know people don't except think so. For, except for in a, that in big tomorrow. rig. Except for tomorrow, I'm not gonna be the passenger. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna eat. We're gonna have some burgers. We're just gonna keep it simple tonight. You're heating up some burgers. And then I'm gonna put my I'll put my hokas on. Change out of my hokas. Get some hokas, and we're gonna go for a little walk. We're gonna go hit some breweries in downtown because it shows it's 15 to 20 minute walk. So we're gonna do some walking tonight and enjoy some breweries tonight and. Uh, yeah, so right now we're going to set up this grill. This is really nice that they provide this for us here. So you need to go watch our last video if you want to see what we did in Bend. And we sat by the fire at the end of the night and closed out last night. A little bit, a couple more days in Bend, and then we're going to take off to one of our favorite places. Roots my grilling labors. Oh, yeah. We did. Oh, let's see. Hold on. That's a lovely shirt you got. Um, so there's Ron, gray shirt, okay. Look, we're wearing uniforms tonight. Ron loves it when I set us up with a uniform. Loves it. So cool. Loves it. That's awesome. All right, so we're gonna show how long it takes. What time do you have a watch on? It's 7.25. 7.25. 7 so we're gonna show how long it takes to walk to downtown Bend. So it's either going to take camp. 20 minutes or two hours. So far, it's been 12 minutes of the walk, right? Yeah, 11 to 12 minutes and we're about, I'm assuming a little over halfway there. It's a nice walk from the camp to downtown. Yep. And people are walking, jogging, bike riding, nice neighborhood. I don't know if I'm going to walk at night though. I might take an Uber tonight, but yeah, definitely. This is, um, hi there. Hey guys. Too. 20 minutes later 20 minutes but we're in the deep deep part of the downtown oh. so we actually reached downtown probably at 17 minutes and there's the Shoots brewery we're going there later 
and now we're heading into Cobalt. Let's go to the Cobalt. Time yeah. to go into Cobalt. Look at that. And that's a good looking Jeep too. I'm assuming good looking people drive that good looking Jeep. That was great. Yep, it's for grown-ups. Here, let's run. Run. Go. <laughs> you made it. going the wrong way. Told you to go left. Where, which way did you go? You made it. You made it. <laughs> Jody was so stressed out. Wow. I know, look at that over there. That looks like Beer Disneyland. But this is the big production of Deschutes Brewery yeah. right here. So we're starting our day out this afternoon. Uh, we're Imagine gonna that. Imagine <laughs> starting our day out in the brewery. Um, yeah. And then we're going to head over to the tasting room and just check it out here real quick. But. We are at one of the biggest breweries, uh, honestly, in, in in Oregon, I think, I would think. So yeah, we'll have to research yeah. that. Yeah. yeah well, you got you got uh, Windmere yeah. in Portland. So you got, a, you know, a couple of big dogs out. But this is one of the biggest dogs here in uh, Bend, Oregon. Yep, yep. Yeah. Good old to shoot. This is where you can map. do a tour. So, you know, it's worth doing a tour at the, one of the biggest places in town. Those are always fun. This place is huge. So if you want to do a tour, it sounds like it's almost every hour they do a tour. It's $10. You get to walk around with a beer in your hand while you learn all about brewing. So um, Deschutes, it's worth taking a look at. Um, for years, I've drank their um, Black Butte Porter, and it's a great porter. But they have a tasting room. We were in downtown last night. So they do have a location in downtown. Really nice area, good food. Um, but this is a great place to stop in at if you want to see the full spectrum of just a huge process going yeah. on. Yeah. All right, good. now we're going to head to another brewery. It's shocking. Imagine that. Isn't that shocking? So Ten Barrel, we're at Ten Barrel now. Yeah. Ten Barrel actually makes one of my favorite pub beers. Yeah, the pub beer is good. With a the little pub bit of lime, beer. A little it's literally tomato, called pub beer. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, one of my favorites. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, there it is right there. That's my favorite pub beer. That's what it looks like. You get oh, it in the store. Look at the beer machine. It's a beer, beer machine. I know, it's a store. I was like, oh, that's a beer machine. That is so cool. Oh, and then they have their little uh, 10 barrel bike. That's a cool bike. Oh, it's a double bike. That's cool. So, the, oh, brew that way. Great. What's that? Oh, yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. This taster train is a great deal. This is the best taster train, I think, out of all the breweries so far. It's just a great value, a great deal, and such a great variety. So, 10 Barrel has won. We almost were just gonna stop in and leave because we know 10 Barrel, but this made us stay. We are just, this is awesome. Yeah. Good job, 10 Barrel. Yeah, well done. Good job. I'm gonna call it a win right now. Right Big out win. Of the gate. Before we before Big we win. before we finish everything, I'm gonna call it a win on the taster tray because what is probably one of the best. Not only is it the best 
value is probably the best variety. It was a showcase of all their beers and a showcase of their seasonal, showcase of their staples, and it was uh, it was well done. And the facility of the layout was really cool too, because when you're sitting in the uh, the tasting room, when you're sitting in the brewery, the pub, you could see the facility, you could see the barrels, you could see the production going on. Ten barrel uh, is a win for the tasting tray value the variety that's gonna be a tough one to beat we'll see how the next uh, 10 breweries go after this and I gotta say Derek was our server what a great guy he did a good job we had a good time in there and we relaxed it was comfortable it reminded us we said remind us of Maui I don't know why just the way it was calm in there the music the, in the there back the ambiance uh, just like the the production of Maui Brewing Company there in uh, up on the uh, Mount McKee Yeah, there. for sure. So we just thought we we're gonna stop in here real fast and we're gonna get out real fast nope. and go to the next place. That didn't happen. <laughs> no. That happened. There they go, so there's another one of our we pants. Ended up... <laughs> so, we... <laughs> so we ended up hanging out here for a while. Um, thank you, Ten Barrel. Great job. Good service. Mango margarita. Look at the heat. Look at the heat. A crystal, crystal fire. And mine is a strawberry watermelon. Strawberry watermelon. Oh my gosh. And he rubs the cheese. Mm. Look at that. Mm. Let me try salsa. Yeah, salsa. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's enough of that. I need to try some now. Oh my gosh. Just have a quick glance open. Look at that. Oh. So typically I want to eat it right in the middle. But. No. <laughs> you gotta split it with me. <clears throat> Flavor. Dude, that is phenomenal. Is that the beef barbacoa? <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to eat this. I should have came with instructions. I know, right? Holy shit. Oh, cool. Well, that's cool. That's cool. You know something? The best yeah. thing about an El Camino mm -hmm. is they carry everything, including the kitchen sink. Like, I knew that we shouldn't have came here like two days ago when we first got here. I was like, I'm gonna hold out because I, I looked at the reviews, I looked at the ratings, I was like, let's not go here because we're gonna wanna go here every day. I'm so dark right now in this, it's not even yeah, count. It's, it's fine. Here, come over here. <laughs> I wanted to come here the last couple days, but I said I'm gonna hold out until like two days before we leave. It was awesome. The taco, the gorditas, the nachos, the salsa, the guacamole, everything was good. Oh, so good. So it's only like a three to five minute walk at that. Three from minute walk from the camp. Go to El Sancho. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. And the best part about it is after you're done having the meal, you come walk over right over here and you do some exercises. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you work it off. You pump some iron and you get those calories off. They waited for us to leave. So let's let's see this place during daytime. This is the light, daytime. Daytime at the crux now? Yeah. So, so the outside. We're the, yeah, the outside venue is, is pretty cool. And then, uh, so I wonder if the beer tastes any different in the daylight. <laughs> I wanna, let's, let's try every beer that we had in the daylight now. We went to the uh, the main restaurant last evening and we had a late night supper and so right now they got a food cart and we're gonna have some lunch here. So awesome. Look at this, got 
chips and tacos. So we found the place from last night in a food cart at Crux. So one of our favorite breweries had one of our favorite restaurants now. Yeah. So we're like totally set up. Yeah. So tell me about this. Oh, it's a Dunkel Bison. Yeah. Dunkel Bison. It's a dark beer, Schwarz beer. Mm. It almost tastes like a candy bar. Mm. It's good and delicious. This is the best type of bison I've had so far this season. Well, maybe this trip. Because we we've been to uh, we've been to Leavenworth. No, this is really for American, like being an American. Yeah. It's a German type of bison, but it made it in America. Very good job. Yeah. It's morning here and we are having our last morning in Bend and we're gonna go get our prize. So we did a thing called the Bend Ale Trail. We're gonna keep it short in this video because Bend Ale Trail is sort of worthy of having its own video. So we will have another video you can go click on if you're interested in what all we achieved and exactly how many brewers we, breweries we hit while we were here. And we're gonna go get some of our prizes for doing some accomplishments right now and we'll show you that. Wow, I you're know. leaving with boxes of stuff? Oh, and then we need to show the stickers here. Normally I'm disappointed and pissed off with stickers, but this case, they are, they they are, are pretty unique. cool. They're, they are pretty they're cool. They're a picture of each territory. And we got a little glass tumbler, little six ounce. Yeah, it's just a taster. Bend, yeah, Bend Ale trail. trail. So these are really cool. Silver Moon right there, that's where we had the concert last evening. And uh, wow, what a show. Last night we got to Silver Moon and we just got excited right away because we went to see Cadillac 3, a band that we really enjoy. And we were shocked when we saw that they were gonna be here so we extended our Bend trip. So we ended up seeing five nights in Bend, glad we did it. Because we saw that the band was gonna be here for only $25 at Silver Moon Brewing, we couldn't believe it. So we went ahead and went to that last night. That brewery was great, they had um, tons of people there so they are doing a good job playing trivia and then they had tons of people outside hanging out for a concert so it was a really um, nice venue lots of food trucks there's five or six food trucks great beers and um, just a nice venue and for a concert if you see music there uh, it's small there's no bad place to sit and once again if you're interested in what we achieved in the Bend Ale Trail go click on the Bend Ale Trail video uh, we're just showing you a brief glimpse of what we accomplished and what we did in this video but the whole entire tour of all the breweries is in that video the last stop of the journey three nights here Woo. and there's a lot of wind going on right now um, three nights here at the last stop and uh, and then we're done with our longest part of this journey and uh, if you want to know where it is you got to hit notifications and make sure you follow us to see where we went last please click like subscribe and notifications thanks for rambling with us we appreciate you hopefully you can hear us the winds picking up in this little uh, canyon here where we are 